There used to be a show on television called The West Wing. It was written, created by Aaron Sorkin. And this is the Oval Office on the show. This isn't the real Oval Office. Back here is a drop screen behind the windows that goes into the Rose Garden. But this is the Oval Office. It looks exactly like the real thing. I was an extra on the show and between takes, Alison Janning was in the other room with everyone and I was playing a cameraman. And so I decided to walk around. The lights were turned off in the Oval Office. So I was meandering around the studio. I walked into the Oval Office and I stood there taking in the environment, taking in the weight of where I'm standing. It's quiet, I can hear murmuring in the back. Behind me, the man walks up and he, it, all he said was, it's something else, isn't it? And I turn around and it's Martin Sheen, President Bartlett on the show. He was very kind, he was gracious. It gets me choked up because he walked around the desk, <clears throat> he pulled out the chair. Yeah, he offered to have me sit in the chair and I politely declined. And in that moment, I know I'm on a TV show. There's a promise that I ask everyone who works here to make. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful and committed citizens can change the world. Do you know why? It's the only thing that ever has. But in that moment, I'm looking at President Bartlett not Martin Sheen. And the reason I say that is because people remember the way you make them feel. In that moment, the gravitas that Martin Sheen carries with him. He could have been mean, he could have been, you know, upset and told me to get off the stage and do whatever the case may be. And he wasn't, he was kind, he was gracious. People remember how you make them feel in this world. And because of that, I love Martin Sheen as a human, as an actor, he's courageous. But he made me feel important that day. If you're kind and you make people feel important, you make people feel special. Funny you should ask. Charlie, my father gave this to me and his father gave it to him. And now I'm giving it to you. Take a look. The fully tapered bolster allows for sharpening the entire edge of the blade. It says PR. I thought I knew them all, but I don't recognize the manufacturer. Yeah, these were made for my family by a Boston silversmith named Paul Revere. Mr. President. I'm proud of you, Charlie. Thank you, sir. You make the world better. I may not make it in this business as a director, as a writer, but I hope to this point in my life, I hope I made it as a decent human being. I will continue to try to be a decent human being to everyone because I believe kindness and love heals. To every actor out there, you want to know the power of an actor. That may be written by Aaron Sorkin, but the gravitas, that's Martin Sheen. That's what he's like in real life. And to every actor out there, I say to you that you are a courageous warrior. You're not just an artist. You are a vessel for a better world. You carry the torch of a better world through media. And who you are as a person magnifies on camera the way you live your life in your personal life and the way you treat people in your personal life will carry over into your character. I can write the greatest words ever to be written in film and television, and they mean nothing without an actor, without an actor who lives from the heart. Martin Sheen is an amazing, phenomenal human. And because of that, he brought gravitas to the President of the United States. Every single time you sit in a chair in acting class, or you sit in your trailer on set, Remind yourself, you are a vessel and you are part of the most important profession that has stand the test of time. And with that, that's why I love you, the artist. As Martin Sheen that day, he was kind and that stuck with me forever. The streets of heaven are too crowded with angels tonight. There are students and our teachers and our parents and our friends. The streets of heaven are too crowded with angels. But every time we think we've measured our capacity to meet a challenge, we look up and we're reminded that that capacity may well be limitless. This is a time for American heroes. We will do what is hard. We will achieve what is great. This is a time for American heroes and we reach for the stars. God bless their memory. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America.